I'm Sam Heifel from Entertainment Weekly. I am here at Comic-Con with the creators of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. We're live on Facebook, so be sure to send in your questions. So you guys are underway on the final, how far underway are you on the final season? Very little. <laughs> We're about to start shooting the first episode next week. Yes. Okay, so you've done that table read. I saw that on Twitter. Twitter? Instagram? Something? One of them. Right. But, um, so, does it feel like it's ending? Has it hit you yet? It's weird. It's so, we have so many episodes. Yeah. We are 18 episodes now this season, and so, <laughs> and we have so many songs to write, and so it doesn't feel like an end yet. Let's talk in February. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to talk about 18 episodes, because that's something you haven't done since season one. Does that, is that something you all, is that an exciting development? You all kind of You know, what I'm excited about, which I just recently learned, is guess how many episodes we will have when we're done? 62. And guess how many Breaking Bad did? 62. 62. So I'm excited about that. That's a fun point of trivia. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's exciting for us to make more episodes. Um, the actors fun, are really as, excited as, to as, get more money. Yeah. <laughs> As Rachel said, we feel like we're buried under a snowbank right now. So in a few months, we'll start processing. But we'll, we're going to cry probably. I would say we'll probably cry for the last month. Yeah. 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 I mean, I feel like you all have such a unique experience getting to. I mean, you've said for years, you know, we kind of have a four-season arc, and you're getting to end it. I mean, what does that mean? just mean to you guys as creators that, like, you get to finalize the story the way you want to? I mean, the odds of this whole thing happening were so slim to begin with. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's a musical show about a girl who's kind of in a romantic comedy but really needs to be in therapy and fall in love with herself. And the fact that we kept getting renewed but that we get to finish this story and that we're only four seasons. We're doing a little bit of the British model. <laughs> well, look, any think of any network you've ever heard of. Sure. They've all passed on us, m many of them twice. Because a lot of people passed on us when we were pitching the pilot. Right. And then every single network you ever heard of passed on us after the pilot was made. Yeah. So the fact that CW fished it out of the bin, made it, and is going to make 62 of them is ridiculous. Yeah. Well, we left the last season on a major cliffhanger. I was going to say the show's biggest, but, like, I mean, you guys go big a lot, I feel like. But so where are we picking up, like, even just time-wise, where are we picking up? Uh, we actually pick up quite soon after, um, okay. pretty soon after, and then you know she she has a tendency to make rash decisions, sure, um, and then think <laughs> through the consequences later. But I think her intentions this time were excellent. Sure, um, the first season ends with an admission, mm -hmm. the second season ends with a vow to revenge, and this last season ended with her vowing to do better. Although you know because it's Rebecca Bunch, there will be forward and backward movement. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. All right, we have a Facebook question from Jessica Axtell. says, what is Rachel's most recent musical theater obsessions? Um, well, lately I have been listening to a lot of The Farmer and the Cowman Should Be Friends from Oklahoma because we may or may not doing, be doing an Oklahoma-inspired number this season. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not be in possession of a video of Rachel jumping up and down and um, singing temp lyrics to such a song. In the writer's room to try to convince my writing partner, Jack Dolgen, what's happening. I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't even imagine, like, visually how much fun you all are going to have with that. Are there any other... Have you, at this point, crafted your final theme song? Yes. 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 And in... Yes. You will be hearing some... You will be getting a sneaky peeky of that, maybe. At Comic-Con. At Comic-Con at our panels. Okay. A little sneaky peeky. Yeah. How, I know like in the past, what was it, it was season three that like gave you guys so much trouble like to come up with that theme song, right? Oh, it was yeah. A it, was it was a nightmare. I've How, cried, it was, it was a nightmare. I've cried three times now writing songs for this show and that was the second time. Yeah. This, this season, um, Jack, who's one of the three songwriters, had sort of a notion that they started with that we all loved, that Rachel said, Jack came up with this idea, what do you think? And so that is pretty close to that, but season three was a nightmare. It was very, very hard. It was really hard. Okay. What was the, the quickest song to write in the course of the show? Of all the songs? Yeah. Well, I, I have to say, <laughs> we don't do a lot of like straight up parodies. We have a song coming up, potentially, that's um, almost just a straight up parody of, a, of a, a musical theater song I won't name right now. And I... I wrote it in 10 minutes the other day because it was all lyrics. I just took the template of the original song and I just did the lyrics and then we'll change the melody so we won't get sued. But that was great. <laughs> How many songs 
have you written? You hit the 100 mark last season. I think we're at 115, and I think, you know, by the end of this uh, season, probably be around 150, 160. I still God. don't I, – I still feel like they should just be um, – handed Emmys every day, Rachel, Adam, and Jack for what they do. I just, I still can't believe it. It's yeah. unprecedented accomplishment. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be like four busting out albums worth of material. Good lord. Yeah. I mean, that's you, not only 62 episodes, yeah. 150 songs. Yeah. You got, are you going on vacation after this is over? <laughs> I was planning a vacation and then we got ordered to 18 episodes, so I canceled <laughs> that vacation. Um, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably go I don't know, to an igloo in the North Pole and live out the rest of my days there. Sure. So a lifelong vacation. <laughs> Just a life change, really. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to be Santa Claus. <laughs> Great. Well, going in, you know, every season I feel like we talk about, like, a theme, right? Like a theme, a part yeah. of Re Rebecca's journey. What are we, like, what is the theme for the final season? I would say reckoning. Mm -hmm. um, I would say the first season, season, we actually have R's for all these. The first season was repression. Um, the second season was, um, what's the R? I, romance. I've, this romance. is the first I've heard of romance. this R thing. I don't <laughs> know romantic, what. Romantic obsession. Third was revenge. The third season was revenge. And I a little think. bit of reckoning. Yeah, this, this, is, is this is renewal and rebuilding. Renewal, rebuilding. We have a lot redemption. of R's. Yeah, we have a lot of R's. <laughs> Just, you should change the title to. Yeah. Many R's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When we do find Rebecca, is she regretting her decision to like take? No. Oh, that's good. Yeah, she has to deal with it. I will tell you just for fun that um, you know we have all these discussions about what the season's going to be and what we're going to do. And Rachel really, really wants to square away the fact that in uh, between seasons she got her ear pierced again. She really wants to. Make I got sure. a second ear hole, and yeah. I just don't. I, I literally. Once a week in the writer's room, I'm like, hey, <laughs> when are we going to introduce that Rebecca got a second ear hole? How do we introduce it? No one else seems to care. No one seems to be as interested. But I can't go to, well, we got to talk about this. How can you act those scenes when you don't know where that ear hole came from? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So makeup's going to oh, have to wait, cover them. Oh, wait, can we them. tell them we're going to have to away the timeline? We'll oh, yeah, later. Yeah, Rachel's work. Alina and I have finally squared away the timeline I mean, of the I've show. I mean, I've done nothing. I've nodded. No, we, and we have finally agreed on something. Okay, great. All right. I feel like, well, I'm like, you can't tell me, so. Remember we thought about this last yes, time? Yes, we, we did. We you. talked yeah. about, yeah, yeah, the timeline of the show. So yeah. is that, you're going to reveal that, like, Rachel's going to, at the, she's, well, she, you can reveal at any point, but at the end of the season, I, at the end of the series, I think you should map out everything. Can I reveal when we agree the series started right now? Sure. Okay. Here was the problem. Okay. We were, basically, we had, like, a year gap. The official timeline of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> is that it started in... 2016. Okay. So when you watched the series premiere, even though it said camp was 10 years ago in 2005, it's approximately 10 years ago um, because it had to have started in 2016, which squares us away with the current day. All right. Otherwise, all of our references would have had to have been from a year ago, which is a bummer. And that's the official canon timeline of Crazy Ex Girlfriend. Oh my God, it feels so good. To say. I feel like f that has been such a thing among the fandom of like people are watching this this Facebook live and they're like what is this show what are they talking about <laughs> why are we talking about a timeline what's happening what is this big reveal? bring on Does that timeline work with the what West world joke uh yeah great we have a Westworld joke, which West dated us. You know, last season, we had a joke with Ma with Maya where okay. she says, my father and I email each other Westworld se oh, theories. Got it. And so yes. that tied us a little bit to time. Sure. Uh, this is not a thing I think about, but Rachel does a lot. <laughs> I love it. All right, any final, like, if you had to... Oh, wait, were you already... No, go on. <laughs> no, yeah. It's like, what's, we're heading in, final season. Like, what's the one thing you want, like, people to know going into this last 18 episodes? Art is hard, and love each other. It's a good thing to know. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Right. <laughs> that's such a nice note to end on. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you yeah, for having thank us. You. Thank Absolutely. you.